morning everybody. Today I am at the Langkawi Sky Bridge and it is incredible. We are up this mountain as far as you can possibly go on these sky car cable car things and uh, we're about to head to the bridge which you can see behind me I hope and uh, it's gonna be amazing. Okay so things to note when you get up here there are two ways to get to the Sky Bridge and they both cost extra even though the website says that your ticket is inclusive of everything. So there are some hidden fees and I only had four ringgit and 70 cents and it costs either five ringgit or 15 ringgit and 15 will get you a, an elevator essentially to the bridge and five will get you the nature walk to the bridge. And so I had to ask a very nice gentleman for 30 cents and he was kind enough to give me 30 cents so I am now doing the nature walk just to get to the sky bridge so let's go check it out Unfortunately, I'm unable to fly the drone up here because it is not allowed, but the view is incredible You can see all the way to Thailand that way and the islands here are so stunning Just these cliff sides and the, the mountains how they are so jagged out of the ground. It's really really beautiful I would definitely say come to the sky bridge very early. It opens at 9 now Let's keep checking it out and then it's on to go see some waterfalls Seven Wells waterfall and I hope you can hear me because my good microphone has decided that it's gonna take the day off and uh, I need to get it fixed again this waterfall is right next to the sky cab if you just continue up the road rather than turning off to go to the sky cab you will get here it costs one ringgit to, to park and then it's free to get up and as I was walking through the jungle to get over here you can hear people zip lining through the jungle so that's next Well, the waterfall was amazing and it was really nice to get in the water in this hot, humid Malaysian heat. Uh, so it was nice just hanging out and relaxing. But I went to the zip line that's right underneath the waterfall on my way back and they want about $120 for you to do their zip line course, which I thought was crazy. So I passed on that and then uh, I came just a little bit down the road to a place called Skytrex and they have a more extensive course and it's actually kind of more varied. So you have, I think, even more zip lines than the other place and more obstacles and more fun stuff to do. And it's only 70 ringgit, which is like 15 bucks. So um, if you're gonna come here and you wanna do the zip line, definitely come to Skytrex. Don't do the one at Seven Wells Waterfall. Well, I am now going to jump on a boat and uh, do an island tour. It's gonna take three hours and I actually was able to get the mic fixed, so that is key when you're uh, on the ocean with lots of noise and wind. I need to just get a little multi-tool that I can always carry with me, and then I will never have that problem again, <laughs> but microphone just keeps wanting to come undone, so that's the case for now. But yeah, let's go explore some islands.
first stop of the tour, they take you to this island that has a massive freshwater lake in the middle of it, which you can see here. And uh, it's a pretty cool place, but it does come at an extra cost of six ringgit. So keep that in mind, bring some extra money. And there are a ton of monkeys on this island, so you gotta make sure to not have anything loose hanging around because they will come grab it. Because they are very snatchy here. All right, I'm heading back to the boat, on to the next spot. Langkawi in general is like bird watching paradise because there are so many exotic, beautiful types of birds and there are quite massive birds here as well. As you saw, those eagles were incredible. And uh, we're just now on this new island having some beach time and uh, I opted to not go into the ocean so I'm just walking around exploring. It is just really, really nice and secluded out here. So I'm enjoying some tranquility. I think these island hopping tours of Langkawi are actually a really effective way of seeing a lot. And I have really enjoyed myself. I think the tour is pretty solid. There's a little bit too much waiting around time, but you know, that's good for families and stuff like that. So these tours are definitely good for every different type of group and every different need. You definitely see a lot and I would definitely recommend them. But as I'm sitting here on this beach, I've noticed that a lot of people on jet skis are going by. And that looks like the correct way of doing this because they are free to just roam wherever they want, pull into a cove and you know set up shop and hang out. So if you can find yourself a cheap jet ski for a lot of time, I would recommend doing that over the boat tour but you can't beat the cheap price of these boat tours out here. So it's up to you. And now I am off to see if I can do one last thing today and really make it a fantastic day. You know, I am just really, really enjoying Langkawi. It is such an incredible island. Today has been a fantastic day, and I'm ending it out here in a different city than where I'm staying. It's called Kua, and I'm staying in Chenang, and this is kind of the more city center of the island, and they have this amazing eagle statue which I just, you have to come see it if you come to Langkawi. And it's just been a fantastic day. I've really, really enjoyed my time here in Langkawi and it was definitely too short. I'm sad that it's coming to an end, but this is definitely one of the places I need to come back to and explore more because there is so much to do here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm looking for feedback, so let me know in the comments what you guys thought. And if you're new and you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe because that will definitely help me out. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, check out this amazing statue.